Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I was inspired by Amber's birthday to make these cute little double paw earrings. They could be pendants, they could be rings. I did a bunch of sketches in my journal and I thought about a few ideas for dog paws and then I came up with the idea to do a double paw. Amber had sent me an image of some printed dog paws and it made me think of doing a bunch of dog paws together. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire, your tools, and you can have some earring hooks handy if you want. I'll take about a 6 to 8 inch piece of wire and we'll start at the bottom. So we're just going to do a little bit of a loop at the bottom. Get your smaller pliers to bring it down and then the larger round pliers to bring it up. And then we're going to make one of the toes, bring it to the front, and then another one, again bring it to the front, curve this back down so it looks like that, and then form the other toes. You might have to pull this wire to the back because we want to bring these to the front this time. So just bring this one around here. And then another one over here. Flatten these out a little bit. Curve this one down a little bit and then towards the bottom bring it out at an angle and then bring this one straight up and start forming the toes on this side. So bring it towards the front and another one the same direction. And then bring this one down and form the toes but bring the wire to the back. And then do another one bringing the wire to the back again. And what you can do is before you bring this wire around, take this wire and bring it around and clip it there. So we're going to bring this one around, curve it around, bring this down and curve this up. So you have your two paws here. And you can leave it plain like this and just dangle a hook or a jump ring on there. Or you can bend this around and bring it up and put some beads on there. I'm going to put a 4 millimeter miracle bead, a 6 millimeter faceted bead, and a 4 millimeter cat's eye bead. We'll cut this to about 3 eighths to half an inch. And then I'm going to form a loop around and push it in there flush, pinch it, and then we can put that on a jump ring for a pendant or you can make earrings like that. For the multiple paw prints we're going to take about 16 inches of wire and then about 3 inches from the end I'm just going to start the toes. So we're just going to do two of them to one side. Bring this down and then do two to the other side. Try to make them about the same size but it's okay if they're not perfect. So now we're going to form the bottom of the paw, bring it to the front, curve that around, bring it down and curve it up. You can always adjust these by bringing them in a little bit and then curve the back wire down. So depending where you want the next paw we're going to curve it out a little bit and then form the toes again. So two to one side, around here, bend it down a bit, and then two loops to 
to the other side. This part's okay if you don't do the toes always in the right direction. So we're going to bring this one around. So we have two going up, two going down, and then get the larger round pliers and form the bottom of the paws. So around here, compare it with the other one, down and up. If you need this more pronounced, just bend it a little bit more. We'll do as we did before, curve it out a little bit and form the toes again. So two to one side. Bend it down and then two to the back. Around there. Adjust that as you need. And we'll form the bottom of the paw again. So round, smaller round pliers down, and this one around. So now we're going to do our last one, curve it out just above that second toe, and we're just going to form these toes on the last one. So to one side, to the same side, down, and then these ones, and the other one. So once we've done four paws in the same way, we're just going to take this back wire here like that and bend it straight up because we want it, we want to stabilize these so they don't come apart. So we're going to line these up with that second wire. Hold this with the flat pliers, take the wire from around, and then wind it around to grab that wire. So then we'll clip it, take our round pliers, push it to one side, make our loop, bring it around to the front. Now, the key to this not coming apart is we're going to bring this around and then grab the wire underneath here to hold it in place so it won't come apart. That's a good little hack. So now we're going to clip that and then we'll get our earring hook, open it up, stick it on. There we have our super cute multiple paw print earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.